Sorry, it's DJ. <laughs> Like I said, I went to the truck stop right up the road from there and put in that there weren't no empties. And so that's what we're doing now. We're headed over here to get this empty. And then we're going to go to um, yeah, I'm drawing a blank now. Shooting out so many names, I can't remember where I'm picking up. But I pick it up and I'm going to Johnstown, New York. People out there, you know, you guys should know where John, what's in Johnstown, New York. That's a drop and hook for any time on Monday. 
which is fine because I mean it's 765 miles from down here and I, I just would like to know as why new cars don't have blinkers on them I don't people need to talk to the manufacturer and find out why they're not putting blinkers on cars so yeah so I figured I could get loaded over here it usually takes about I've been here a couple times usually takes about an hour and a half to two hours if they don't mess up last time I was here I was here for the whole day because they put the wrong product on and then they had to take it all off and then <laughs> the guy put the same product right back on the trailer that was not supposed to be on the trailer in the first place so <laughs> So we ended up having to sit there for a long, long time. I think we were there for like, I don't know, eight hours. And didn't get no detention for it, but that's, you know, that's not here nor there. Well, not, this, ain't, this ain't a complaining video, so it's just an update video. Um, kind of positive. I don't got anything to... Um, to complain about. I mean, really. Um, you know, I mean, just getting messed over by SFI again. I don't know what's going on with those people, but they took my paychecks for three weeks, and then they still say I owe them a $1,000, and then they took um, everything out this week plus a half, so I don't, I don't know what's going on, but like I said, we're here to drive. Um, we're gonna go up here and um, get this empty trailer, and then we're headed over to get our load. We gotta put more miles on than what I bought, only because there were no empty trailers. <coughs> if there was an empty trailer, I'd be all set. So what turned into be 30 mile deadhead, it's going to be 60 mile deadhead. So, but you know, you you, you know, you got to do what you got to do. You know, it's I see. I'm sorry, it's 90 mile deadhead. Um, because slightest miles are never right anyway. So that's what we're doing. We're just getting up here, getting this done. Um, grab our trailer and. And then away we go. Just trying to figure out why this four wheeler is right in my butt. I got no trailer on. So I don't know if he's looking for something to come off my tires or what, but he is so close to me that if he had an on guard, his brakes would have locked up already. That's how close he is to my trip my truck. Unbelievable. I don't understand why you would tailgate a big truck. Even without a trailer, it's going to cause big, big problems. See? Like that, that car right there just got in front of us. No blinker. And they're hauling a trailer. You know? I don't know. Well, it's like last night when we were... I was parked and I was out walking Maxi. And uh, almost got hit. In the parking lot, my, my truck did, not me. Um, this guy's backing up, he, and he's, I don't know if he's texting or, you know, Facebook or YouTube or Twitter or whatever, but he literally almost backed in to my truck. And I'm like, you know, I'm yelling to him, dude, dude, stop. And he finally stopped. I mean, he was inches from backing into me. And I'm like, you can't see my truck there? You know, I mean, it's in the bobtail pocket for one thing, and you're, you're just going to back into it? Man, I was I was nervous because, you know, I don't need to be down again. You know, that would be too much, too much to be down. I don't, I don't want to go through being down again. It's too much work to get yourself caught back up because of a typing error 
that's what I found out yesterday. It was a typing error or something like that, and now I don't I don't know what's going on. But I, like I said, we're not worried about it. I'm worried about it, but we're not gonna put it out there. We're just gonna say you know everything's fine. And I kind of like to pick up an empty trailer right here. Have to deadhead. 31 miles to get an empty trailer when there's one right here is, would be alright, but nah, we gotta go up here to North Vernon, Indiana. But it, that is the one thing that I don't like is when somebody tailgates me. Oh, I'm on the exit and this guy is right on my rear end for some reason. Like I owe him $20 or something, you know? I just, I don't know. I don't understand four wheelers. Because he's really, he's really going to get mad at me because I'm not going to cut off a car just so that he can get to wherever he's going to get to. And I wish that Snyder would leave the dang Quillcom alone and stop sending out and shutting off your dang Quillcom every two minutes. The thing, the thing runs fine for two whole days, and then they, like yesterday, shut the, they shut the thing down like five times and turned it back on, rebooted the system, and I'm like, why? You know, and then they're like, well, we want you to go back to paper logs. I'm not going back to paper logs. This, this thing is working. I have no red. It's tracking me everywhere I am. Only because you guys can't leave nothing alone, I am not going back to paper logs. Leave it alone. Because that's it. That finuk. I'm not doing it. The way I look at it, get us all into the terminal and give us all those new... ELD systems. That's what they should do. Take all these systems out, and then give us all those I, those uh, ELD tablet things that they have there. That would make it that would make it a heck of a lot easier. But that's just that's just my opinion. My opinion doesn't matter. I'm just a truck driver. But yeah, I am I am staying out for Thanksgiving and Christmas. Um, probably go back sometime in January, maybe February. Um, I'll have to pick up all the new permits and everything to get the stickers before February. Uh, I think they said the 20th, I think. So we'll get in there sometime January or late January, early February. Because um, money, money talks, you know. I mean, just the way it is. I did good yesterday. Uh, they took a little too long to get me unloaded, but um, like I said, I brought that one over there to Noblesville. Uh, what was it, 291 a mile? I mean, sorry, 
Dallas to go 38 miles. And then I picked up the one that was going down to uh, Austin, Indiana. That was paying 288.73. So that wasn't too bad of a rate to go 77 miles. Um, the short hauls are all right, but I just don't like, you know, where, you know, it's supposed to be a drop and hook, but you can't touch a trailer because there's not enough for the company drivers when they come in with their loads. And I'm like, wow, if it should be first come, first uh, serve. Whoever the driver is that's there first, doesn't matter if he's company or, you know, sign the finance. If, if he's there, he should be able to grab a trailer and not worry about, you know, is there enough for the company? You know what I'm saying? Because I don't get paid to, uh, to deadhead around, you know. I had to deadhead to grab a trailer. It was like 150 miles just to get a trailer. And I went right by a Walmart DC. And I'm like, we couldn't stop there? So I get up there to get the trailer. And, oh, you can't have that trailer there. I'm like, well, you guys sent me here. The plane is, the box plane is sent me here. Oh no, can't, can't have it. We're gonna have you turn around and deadhead 75 miles back to the Walmart DC that I should have gone to in the first place, just to get an empty trailer. And I made sure before I took it that I wasn't gonna have to get in trouble for taking a trailer from a company driver. That's just crazy nonsense right there. Like I said, everything's been going pretty good. Um, I don't know what, what happened last week, but we only ended up with $338. Not even enough to pay my bills. I, I, don't, I don't really know what's going on. I really don't. So, you know, it is what it is, I guess. It's trucking, it, that's what they say. Um, but this week here, you know, it's going to be better than last week. I mean, it's not top dollar of what I wanted. But, you know, after watching all these videos of people doing the spot market and stuff and how they bid on those going to the places that they go to, and it's like, man, I wish I could do that. I really do. I really do wish that I could, because there was a load that I, I wanted. And Never have a truck stop. You know, where you have to get off and not have a light. You should be mandatory to have a light. Either that or a roundabout. That's the way I look at it. Take the entrance to the left on I-71 South. still overweight. I'm not too sure yet. Find out in a second.
something that I do differently than anybody else does is I get on, I slide on a scale here. Ooh, that's a drop off. I curve ahead. Bounce around while you're getting, getting on the scale. That's real nice. All right, so we get up here, we line ourselves up. And we put it in neutral. And we wait for it to stop. We do not set our brakes. 781. Because you don't set your brakes when you go across the scale with the DOT scale. So why would you set your brakes here? No, you say. Yeah, he's not talking to anybody, just you two. Okay, let's see what we got. Collecting payment. We're still heavy. We are still heavy. They put everything on the dang nose. Now let's see if we can slide these wheels a little bit. We got 34,600. Whoop. 34,660 pounds on the nose of our truck. So. We are in the, the eighth hole, I believe. I don't know, which an eighth or ninth hole, so I'm probably gonna move it out. I knew I was heavy. Look at this thing won't even shift. Jesus. I'll park right here next to Celadon for a second. Alright. So I'm not really too sure how much this is gonna move but we're gonna give it a I don't know how they don't tell you how much the trailers weigh per hole so I don't know so I'll be right back We were in the we're in the tenth hole, but now we're gonna try the fifth hole and see what that gives us. see I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a risk and I'm gonna put it in the six hole and see what we have maybe Thirty-two thousand on the on the trailer. Thirty-two thousand three hundred and forty. So we need to move at least two thousand pounds. I mean a thousand and at least a thousand pounds. So so let's give it a shot. See what we have here. Hopefully, hopefully we're all set. Sure, we're lined up. All right. Okay, seven eight one, accept. Mm. 
three-way, accept, accept. So now we're up another 250. That's what, 1750 so far. To hold up, baby. Daddy's trying to do something. Come on, AT and T. Jesus. Ah, right, there we go. We're perfect. Twelve thousand and sixty on the on the nose. Thirty-three thousand one hundred and sixty on the axles, drive axles, and on the trailer we have thirty-three thousand eight hundred and sixty. With a grand total of 79,080. So that's not bad. Let's go get our our tickets. I always like to keep those on me. Just in case. Alright. And we're gonna grab a coffee because we got six hours to run, so there's no reason to No reason to drive them without coffee. Can't be doing that. I only had three of my thermoses today. Need one more. Hurry up, buddy. Quick. Can you make it? <laughs> Hurry up. Hurry up. You got the first pump. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Dave was just. Dave's just playing. Dave just playing. Oh, right, here we go. Check out this guy, this is not a parking spot. We must be special, we can park where we want to park. Jesus, these people, they make you laugh, I'll tell you. All right, you guys, I'll be right back. started becoming more positive I said you know this is how I want my channel to be uh, you know more educational I want to be able to show you guys more but I don't want to copy other youtubers you know what I'm saying like the head cam you know I did that a couple times but I see that you know there's somebody who, has, who does it he, you know he does it good you know, that and the chest cam. Um, which I have both of them. I never did the chest cam. But, you know, I don't want to be known as a um, copier. You know, I don't want to be known as a um, as a YouTuber who copies other ones. So I'm trying to come up with my own... I'm trying to come up with my own little... own little thing but it's so hard because everybody's got so awesome camera you know setup that you know like Mr. Probos I love that setup I was thinking about that before before he came out with it but I mean that that is a nice setup that really is but that's just you know I, like I said I just don't want to be a copier and um, you know and then start losing, losing subscribers because I doing the same thing that somebody else is doing. Not doing it on purpose, you know, but. But, you know, that's just the way it is. You know, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to do it and what to do. And you guys can still see. Not too bad. We'll give it a couple more. We're, uh, get over here and now you know get up here by Louisville I'll uh, cut her off I
would like to say welcome and thank you to all the new subscribers. Welcome to my page. Um, like I said, I'm going to start doing positive. I'm going to try to get myself. Um, I'm starting to get up a little bit, but I'm still a little depressed. You know, I got that depression thing going on, but I'm trying to do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get get it up, get it out under control, and and trying to get myself where I need to be. I need to be centered. We will. We'll get back up there like we used to be. Yeah, I had to have my airlines put on. I was going to do a video about putting them on. Um, those rubber airlines. I've had them for a year now and I just could not find the tools. And so when I went in to get my oil change, PM done, everything like that, I asked him how much it would cost to put them, them on. And he says $100. And that would be, you know, the labor to do it all. And so I was like, all right, you know, let's do it. So I had them put those on. I kind of want to do a video on it. But there's a couple things screwed up on it. I guess there's two, two control valves. And they both were on one line. There, there was none on the uh, blue line. I mean, sorry. There was one on the blue line next to the body. And then at the end of the blue line, where the, um, the, um, yeah, I'm drawing a blank now. The handle goes, there was a control valve there, but the red one didn't even have a control valve on it. So he ended up switching that. So he, he did, he did more work than what he was supposed to. So a hundred dollars, I didn't think really was that bad, you know? It got done, it got done right. <coughs> so that's that's not too bad. Well, they couldn't get no bean in the cup. They had no beans in the bean in the cup. Which I did not understand that. Because I told the lady, could I... I was waiting on coffee because the first part, whoever made it, the, the filter collapsed. So all that coffee grinds was in that coffee. So I, I was waiting on coffee and then she she literally said to me, well, we got to be in the cup over there. I said, yeah, you do if you had beans in it. I don't know where their beans were or why they didn't have no beans in it, but those pots were freaking dirty. I hope they're going to clean them before they put any beans in it because that thing was filthy. But we got coffee, like I said. So now we'll be all set to make it up here to wherever we're gonna make it. Well, I guess it might be getting a little too dark for you guys to see. Yeah, that's too dark for you guys to see. But anyways. So, let me let you guys go. And uh, here's a new thing. Follow your own dreams, not the competition's dreams. All right? Live for yourself. Live for you. You know, you can never be... You, know, you don't have to be like everybody else. Be yourself. All right? If you, if you feel you want to take a different path, then take a different path. If your dream requires you, your dreams require you to do something different than what everybody else is doing, why by all means do it, you know? That's, that, that's the great, great thing about living in this great United States of America, this great country, the best country in the whole universe, is that if you have a dream, you, you can go out there and you can fulfill your dream. It doesn't matter who you are. You know, it, it does not matter your sex, your creed, your race, your color. It does not matter. You can go out there. If you have a dream, go out there. Step out and live your dream. Live your dreams for yourself, not the competition. So I will leave you with that. And like I said, thank you guys all. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And have a
Have a nice night. Night. Bye, guys.